Okay, here we are at the lake with the big evil twin made of Depron and uh, I've changed the prop size. I've gone down to a nine inch prop to try to get a little more efficiency and it's loaded up with uh, FPV gear now including a, a Cyclops Storm OSD. It's in the back here. If I can get it open. There's the Storm. There's the uh, L9R receiver uh, that has RSSI out which is very handy. I uh, just flew eight and a half miles and uh, the lowest RSSI I had was about uh, 70%. So that is uh, pretty impressive for a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And there's the um, uh, GPS receiver on the back. Uh, what I love about this plane is it's just got tons of room. Probably more room than it could carry weight. Uh, but it did pretty well just now. And uh, except for a couple of new wrinkles in the covering film, we're okay. And um, the landing strip, as you can see, is pretty narrow compared to the width of the plane. Also, the wind was not perfect for landing and taking off. It was at about a 45 degree angle to this uh, dam that I like to fly from. exploration is the image of the earth finally to bloom, bearing the entire human species through the oceans of space and time. Matter flows from place to place and momentarily comes together to be you. Some people find that thought disturbing. I find the reality thrilling. new we're children equally of the earth and the sky in our tenure on this planet we've accumulated dangerous evolutionary baggage we've also acquired compassion for others love for our children and a great soaring passionate intelligence the clear tools for our continued survival we must ask ourselves we who are so proud of our accomplishments what is our place in the cosmic perspective Life, the cosmic perspective. We could be in the middle of an intergalactic conversation and we wouldn't even know. Are there things about the universe that will be forever here on our cross? Are there things about the universe that are ungraspable? One of the great revelations of space exploration is the image of the Earth to bloom, bearing the entire human species through the oceans of space and time. Matter flows from place to place and momentarily comes together to be you. Some people find that thought disturbing. I find the reality thrilling. At last, 
to wonder about our origins. Star stuff, contemplating the stars, tracing that long path. Our obligation to survive and flourish is owed not just to ourselves, but also to that cosmos, ancient and vast, from which we spring.